Okay naman. Nagsisimula naman. Ay, nagsisimula naman. Okay naman. Sige, So, the, the, the demonstration is good for 30 minutes. The same procedure with the COC2. They will set the timer at uh, 25 minutes. So you still have five more minutes when you hear the first Okay, so remember your uh, your um, cue is the CBT framework diagram. Okay, we'll start. Good morning. Good morning, everyone. Uh, my name is Celine Acevedo. I'm your uh, trainer for housekeeping and C2. Good morning, sir. Hi, and welcome to our school. I would like to give an orientation before we start our training. Welcome to AAA Career Development Inc. Huh? This is the name of our school. Uh, and we are committed in developing and enhancing skills of individuals for quality and international competitiveness. The mission of our school is uh, uh, we, are, we commit itself to provide comprehensive skills and total training experience for skilled Filipinos in an international context to apply and advance their knowledge, theories, and skills of their chosen field or profession to possess mastery of necessary skills infused with values, proper with attitude and devotion to work. The company is also committed to respond to global needs for productive future workers who are willing not only to work for professional gains but also contribute to the economic growth of the country. And the vision of our school is to be a leader in providing training for skilled Filipinos who will be competent by global standards, committed, professional, and hardworking, and hence will be able to contribute to the economic equipment of the country. Sir, our school, uh, AAA, uh, used this new um, approach in CBT, in, uh, in tech of training. Uh, have you heard about uh, CBT, or competency-based training? So let me give you an overview of our approach. No? This is uh, the delivery uh, of, of the competency-based training in our school. Uh, we conduct orientation for our student, just like what we are doing, and then we will have uh, training proper, and uh, we will be using different methods in teaching, and then after the, the training proper, you will be assessed. So you will uh, undergo institutional assessment first. Okay? So if you are competent, if I find you competent, meaning you already mastered the uh, for underpinning skills and underpinning knowledge of the qualification, then you will be uh, ready to take the national assessment. But if not, if you're not yet competent, you will have to go back to the Understand, sir? So since we are using competency-based training, we also follow the 10 principles of CBT. Okay. CBT. So the principle of CBT is, is R. One, the training is based on curriculum developed from the competency standard. Two, learning is modular in its structure. Three, training delivery is individualized and self-paced. Four, training is based on work that must be performed. Uh, five, training materials are directly related to the competency standards and the curriculum modules. 
Number six is assessment is based on the collection of evidence of the performance support to the industry required standard. Three, seven is training is based both on and off the job component, meaning um, we give uh, OJTs to our uh, ladies and allows for recognition of prior learning. Nine, uh, we, uh, the training also allows for multiple entry and exit. And then, uh, approved training de 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 uh, approved training programs are national accredited. No? So our program for housekeeping is uh, registered under UTRAS. No? Uh, and then, sir, um, as a as your trainer. Uh, I will be uh, more of a facilitator of your learning. Uh, we will have a different uh, role. Uh, unlike in, a, in the traditional school, uh, in CBT, my role as teacher is I will serve as a team member to determine what is to be learned. Uh, being one of the team, so we have one objective, and that is to be able to uh, master uh, all the necessary underpinning knowledge and skills of your uh, program and I will motivate I will serve as your motivator uh, and inspire you to finish this course I will install confidence in you by providing experiences where you may succeed and I will serve as a model for desirable work habits attitudes and best performance in the application I hope I can do that. Your role as uh, my uh, learner or uh, as my student, you may. I sorry. Okay. You may choose how you want to learn individually or on one on one basis in small groups, in large groups, or in audio visual. And you will be the one to decide when you want, when you are ready to perform each task that, that I will ask you to perform, or that the the, uh, the program is required to do, no? or demonstrate mastery of learning to on job like level of proficiency before uh, receiving credit to the task. Then, here in our school, you are free. To, uh, to move around. Huh? You are free to move uh, in the classroom, shop, laboratory, or on the training center. Uh, and uh, as a student, you, you must know that you are graded mainly on your performance. Huh? Uh, while paper and pencil tests will be used mainly to check your knowledge of the task. It's important that you do all your uh, uh, performance uh, uh, activities. <laughs> the student learn according to their interest, needs, and ability, and according to your timelines or expectations. Okay, sir. So that's our orientation for our um, uh, program. So before we start, I would like you to answer this uh, self-assessment check and give this time. So I have your uh, self-assessment check. I will validate this later. But uh, when you enroll in our program, you answer the things characteristic and uh, and uh, somehow I know. Uh, your um, capacity, no, as as a, as a my student, and uh, of course, since this is your first time to be in our school, I would like to to you give you a tour of our school because here in our school, uh, some of the terms of the areas we use here are different from the traditional school. Okay, can you follow me? So this is our quality control area. This is where uh, mainly we have our office so that the program will be uh, 
<laughs> and then the support service area, here you will learn additional skills uh, to complement your uh, qualification. Like, uh, for example, uh, being a student of uh, housekeeping, you must also learn the, the process in the laundry area. So this is our process. And this is our practical work area. Okay. In this area, uh, we will learn the required uh, skills, uh, competency of your uh, program. Huh? This also serves our institutional assessment area. Okay? And I would like you to remember this uh, place because most of the time I will be staying here. This is the trainer's resource area. And the other areas we will, I will show it to you later. Huh? But here in, uh, you notice, uh, here in our board, we have the uh, Trainees Achievement Chart and the Progress Chart. Now, the Trainees Achievement Chart is, uh, and this Progress Chart, uh, I use this to monitor your uh, activities no? here in, in school. So, if you finish one task, like a small task, like the, the uh, learning outcome or the uh, the skills, um, the passion that you have, I will record it here in your achievement chart. Then after finishing all the you know, the, uh, the LO, the learning outcome, I will conduct an institutional assessment, the summative institutional assessment for your unit of competency. So here is the, the list of the unit of competency that you should use uh, for this program. Okay, so I will record that also. If you not, notice, some of your classmates are uh, already uh, got a C, C rating and NYC. C means not competent, NYC is not that competent. So if C, they will have to progress to the next uh, learning outcome. If uh, not that competent, they will have to practice some more. Okay? So this is done. So, I will give you now the uh, your module. You will use these modules for your training. So, this module is uh, we call this competency based learning materials. Uh, you have here the instruction on how to use the module and also the, uh, the learning experiences. Uh, these are the learning steps that you have you have to follow for your training. So if it says they're reading in the sheet, um, you have to read the information so you can get in the, uh, in the, uh, uh, the list. So all the things that you will be needing here, especially the information sheet, self-check, model answer, are all included in your module. Okay? So we use this uh, primarily for your individual study. Okay, so based on your um, trainee's uh, characteristic and the self-assessment check, so I think you need to uh, to start now your training. And uh, some of your uh, classmates will also start your training, like uh, Mr. Juan de la Cruz, uh, he already has some knowledge about the the topic today, so you will just have to stay at the learning uh, resource area to do some of the reading of the information sheet. And uh, Mr. Pepe uh, is going to do the research now. Uh, he's going to the, learning, uh, the computer lab for that. And you, um, we need to go in the practical work area so I can teach you, I can demonstrate to you how to, uh, to make up the bed. Okay? So, let's go to that perfect practical work area. So, this is your bed. This is your bed. These are your demons. So, first you have to <laughs> Okay? So, so can you try? Right. Wait, wait, wait. In your um, in your uh, module, 
you will be guided by your uh, tashin. Okay? So here is your uh, jabshin pala. Jabshin. It says there, check and stick pen. So uh, let me see if you know how to. You have already read this thing, right? Okay. So now you practice. First sheet from right side sheet. That was my third corner, starting from the headboard. That was second sheet, wrong side. And that was uh, full 10 to 10 inches from the headboard. That was half. That was what is the other term for the first sheet? Pitted sheet. What's the difference of the pitted sheet and the. Pitted sheet for my car that I see. Where it's flat sheet. Okay, let me see how you might turn the side. Uh, top first center, go to the corner, that was holding your okay. triangle, that was top the first, the bottom, for the top. Okay. So, uh, for added and the ease of the uh, tightening, uh, you get the, the you do look and leave it up so it will be a perfect triangle. Okay? So you some practice some more uh, with your classmate and then you come back, you approach me if you're ready for your institution and assessment. Sir. Gian, uh, are you ready for your institutional assessment? Okay, let's go to our institutional assessment area. So, you sit down first. And here is the self-assessment guide for this uh, assessment. Okay, so it indicates here that you are ready. And um, so, your, your uh, assessment today is... Uh, about the uh, prepare room for guests, no? And we will have a demonstration or a questioning written test and the uh, interview. <coughs> so, I will give you this, the specific instruction. Hey, sorry. It is your specific instruction. Read it first and tell me if you are ready to do the demonstration. You ready? And uh, it says there you are to make up the bed for how many minutes? Five minutes. Okay. So, this is your best. Now, yeah. I will ask you some questions. Uh, why do you need to? Uh, why is it important to check the electronic equipment uh, beside the? Uh, give at least four kinds of minerals in making up. So here is your written test. This is good for 10 minutes only. So Jinhan, based on our uh, activity for today, your institution and assessment, I, uh, during the demonstration, I find you very active in uh, doing the task, or you work very fast, and uh, you, uh, you handle the linen carefully, uh, so as not to stain the linen. Um, but uh, next time, make sure that the, uh, your hands are, are uh, clean, uh, so you have to wash first or you uh, change, uh, you make up the bed, okay? 
And then when you are written test, uh, you are excellent. Uh, you answer uh, all the questions uh, correctly. So because of that, I think uh, because of that, I can see that uh, you already mastered the uh, required underpinning knowledge and skill of your uh, qualification of speaking. So you are ready for the national assessment. Congratulations. Okay. Wait, I'm going to update your uh, progress chart here that you are finished with, this, uh, with all the units of competency of your program. Okay, so please sit down, sit down again, and evaluate our training program. At hanggang dyan na lang ang video na to. Maraming salamat sa panonood. Make sure na ito subscribe mo at bell notification para lang itong updated sa mga new videos every day. Thank you so much mga kapuso. Kung nagustuhan nyo po ang video ito, subscribe na. Don't forget to hit the bell button for our latest updates.